Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we um, teach him a lesson for what he did to the full test. I'll not touch the scum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman will Hey, my manacles fell off. Already. Can you help me get them back on? Hey, you hollering. Do that again and we'll shut you up. How long are you going to keep me in here? Can't wait to see the hangman, eh? Don't worry, tomorrow's your big day. I can't wait to see him skinned alive! You got the wrong guy. You mean you didn't kill Foltest? Holy shit, boys! Open the cell! We've got an innocent man in here! <laughs> Hope you're that funny during the execution tomorrow. I'm not the murderer. Wet necking's not my style. That story won't get you anywhere. They caught you red-handed. Untrue. No one saw me do it. But they'll show up in droves tomorrow to see your flesh burn in the grip of red-hot pincers. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Rip your guts out! Fish down and straight away! You deaf for what? I said a prisoner's escaped! Guards! With a- Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalette. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you! Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. Oh. 
And Master Geralt, allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son, my lady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette need suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom. Of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too, see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the Devil. I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the King? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. Milady, those of my profession generally live longer by not judging the nobly born. Especially crowned heads they're accused of murdering. If there's any truth to the accusation, you stand to lose nothing by speaking. I didn't kill Foltest. What's more, I intend to find the man who did. The Ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the King. Your Excellency, you will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? My lady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. Halt! Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the King. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Scoyatel? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorva, or some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. You 
were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true war. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck, and I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. <laughs> Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated.